Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world, welcome. This is a message marked or labeled as a message for the 21st of December, but I'm setting the intention that it be a message for you for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see it. You might be in a time zone where the date is different when I'm posting this. You might not see it for a few weeks or months. So we'll set the intention that it be a message for the next 24 hours. Happy birthday to all the December 21st babies out there. And happy birthday to you if it happens to be your birthday on whatever day you see this message. All right, let's see what... Okay. Ooh, we have Ace of Wands. Okay. So Ace of Wands is a card that can come up in a couple of different ways. Um, a lot of readers tend to see the aces as a gift from the divine. That this is an opportunity that has presented itself because it's a gift from God, universe, angels, guides, whatever terminology you want to use. But that this is this is a gift coming to you from from spirit, from the spiritual realm uh, to take action, to, uh, you know, it, it's a blessing, like like a blessing, a gift that's coming to your way, uh, your way by way of like a, a new opportunity. In my experience, a lot of the times with the Ace of Wands, it could be something that we're not taking that seriously. We might look at it and think, ah, oh, it's not that big of a deal, or maybe I should wait and hold out for something bigger. And while it's good to have standards and it's good to raise the bar, we might ask ourselves, you know, is this really uh, below par, right? Or Or is this something... Uh, that maybe I'm just not giving it a fair chance because Ace of Wands could be something that you put energy into it and it's matched. It, it comes back to you. Like what you put into it, you get back from it. Uh, so it could be something that starts off small but branches off into something much bigger or is a stepping stone to something else or you happen to go and do this thing and you happen to, to meet a person and that person ends up becoming a really um, helpful connection in something you're trying to get into or something you're trying to do. It could be a romantic connection, business connection. Uh, so it could be just that, that the opportunity itself is branching out and becoming bigger and becoming more expansive. So the Ace of Wands to me is a card that comes up and says, don't be so quick to turn your nose up at this because it may have a lot more potential than you realize. And it can end up being a really big blessing for you, uh, growing into something very significant. Ace of Wands is seizing the moment, seizing the day. Um, it could also be a card that has a strong element of passion, like being passionate about what we're doing or uh, being passionate about what we're moving into or moving towards. Uh, it could be physical passion, romantic passion. Okay. Uh, some of you may be um, uh, getting in, into these uh, uh, uh feelings <laughs> these physical feelings or romantic feelings um one thing i uh, i don't know if i want to get into it i'm going to get into it i have to get into it because it's coming up <laughs> that's that's my rule i'm not supposed to edit myself here and just kind of say what's coming in um this could be uh, you know a little you know I'm not, I'm not here to make anybody feel uncomfortable in any way but uh sometimes the ace of wands could have a, a, a bit of a phallic uh energy to it or a vibe to it and sometimes the ace of wands um could come up in a situation where someone is having a hard time at least for me in my readings you have to understand readers who have been reading for a long time there are certain cards that have a little extra meaning um, and so it, it's going to vary. And Ace of Wands, I've seen over the years reading for people. Sometimes this comes up in a situation where uh, someone is having a really hard time uh, controlling their, their desire or their physical um, urges towards someone. And there could be uh, some 
you know, taking care of businesses. And so this could be happening over the course of like phone calls or uh, like texting. Like this could be like somebody's getting really hot and bothered. Somebody's getting really worked up. And so you might feel like, well, how come they pull away from the conversation and all of a sudden they come back or they really slow down or, or they, they, they change the subject or, um, um, you know, uh, one other thing I could say, like, as, as a word of caution, I don't know if caution is the right word, but maybe more to give an explanation. Sometimes I also see this card come up when you might be talking with someone and you have a great connection. You have a great connection with this person. And typically you met through social media or you met through uh, like a dating app or a dating site. And you know that this person is who they say that they are. Like you've FaceTimed them or done like a video call with them. And you've been able to verify this person is who they say they are. You know they're not catfishing you. But for some reason, they don't meet up. They avoid meeting up. and But they want to talk. They want to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But they don't want to meet up. And you're like, what in the heck? We have this great chemistry. We have this great vibe. It could be that this person, and I've seen this happen in readings over the years. It could be that this person um, likes the communication with you because um, they like to engage in taking care of business <laughs> uh, on themselves. And so there's a sense here of like, uh, uh, you know, uh, a, a barrier to the intimacy of like going further, seeing each other, spending time together, because you could be dealing with someone that um, likes to likes to talk to you and they they get excited and they like to like take care of it. And, and they don't uh, you might be like, oh, well, I want to see this person, but they might feel like, well, but this is like, this is how they're enjoying the connection or, or like they feel like this is the way that they're comfortable uh, engaging uh, with someone. They could have, you know, there's all kinds of different reasons why somebody might be doing this. And I'm not going to, you know, say that it's going to be the same thing for every single person. But if you are dealing with a person who... Uh, you have a lot of communication, you have a strong connection, but for some reason they're not meeting up and you know, like you know for sure that they are who they say that they are. Uh, this, uh, sometimes this could be like like a dynamic. Uh, but uh, passions could be running high, desires could be running high uh, when the Ace of Wands comes up. That That is another layer here of this card. Uh, but for the majority of you, there are opportunities coming your way. And the Ace of Wands says, don't be quick to, um, you know, think, oh, well, it's not a big enough opportunity because it can definitely be something that's going to branch out in, into, into other things, into other opportunities. So I thank you for watching. I thank you for receiving the message. I'm sorry if it went kind of sideways there for a little bit. And, you know, maybe that part of it didn't resonate with you, but maybe somebody out there needs to hear it. So when the messages come up, I just share what comes up. If you want to watch the weekly forecast, there's a link in the description that will take you to the playlist so that you're able to watch um, the weekly forecast if you haven't already. If you'd like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to the scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. And if you have not checked out the forecast for 2023, those are linked in the description if you want to see those. Um, you can definitely check out the forecast for the new year as well. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous day ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.